what is guided meditation and stress management program you know it is uh, based on the ancient text written around uh, maybe uh, 2000 years ago known as yog shikha upanishad to help people to manage their pain stress anxiety in day-to-day -day life uh, helps educate your brain and train your mind to regulate your breath for inner peace, harmony and happiness. And it also improves mental and emotional well-being. How you are recording? So there is a disclaimer. You can read my, the disclaimer at my website. Now, what is uh, Yoga Shikha Upanishad and uh, uh, guided meditation and stress management? It is important to understand what is Upanishad. Upa means sitting nearby, ni with a commitment, and the last syllable has three meanings. That you are treading the path on a fixed goal to evolve yourself and help others to evolve or to reach to the highest state of the consciousness or awaken to uh, peace, happiness, wisdom and love. The second is to destroy what causes you the anxiety, stress, duality, conflict, challenges and the problems. And the third meaning is to lessen the impact. We can say you minimize the impact of the challenges, the suffering, the stress in your life. So like other texts, it also opens you up with the philosophy and the principles of Eastern wisdom and Eastern psychology. When I say Eastern wisdom, its fundamental goal is to discover the subjective reality. <coughs> and the fundamental goal of the modern science is to discover the objective reality, the phenomena, the workings and the functionings in the field of matter, in the field of objective reality. So that objective reality in the Eastern wisdom is known as a non-self. It is our common understanding. I'm not the body, I'm more than the body. I'm not the mind, I'm more than the mind. I'm not the intellect, I'm not the ego, I'm not the contents of the mind. And similarly, I'm not the world outside. I'm not these five elements. So it means they all are objective reality and that is a non-self. Don't take the meaning of the non-self as to be rejected because we live, move and act in this world with the non-self, through the self. So the goal of meditation is to discover the subjective reality. So how Buddha expressed uh, that mindfulness or in uh, Eightfold Noble Path. He said, reach to the nothingness. What it means? You are devoid of any objective reality. So it is very clear once you are aware that you are devoid of all the objective reality that subjective self manifests in our life and that leads to compassion, inner peace, happiness, wisdom. So what we do in this guided meditation, you listen to the specialized talk on the fundamentals, principles of well-being, pain management, and how to discover peace, happiness, and life. And then we practice. In 60 minute session, we practice maybe sometime for 40 minutes, sometime for 45 minutes. 
that practice includes the steps explained by the master in this uh, opening. And that helps us to educate ourselves how to live in that state of the well-being and how to live in that state of the peace and happiness. Then what happens? The meditation blossoms in our life. Uh, there are about 20 practices, different practices of meditation or mindfulness in, in the steps. So every week we uh, talk about the principles and explains the steps of these, uh, one out of these 20 practices. And that helps. Why that helps? Because every time you do the different practices, that helps you to find a niche. Oh, here is this practice that helps me. So let me continue the journey. Otherwise, what happens, you attend one single program, maybe for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, half an hour, and then you say, no, the mind has a lot of doubts. Mind dislikes the practices. So the beauty of this program that every week you get a new practice based on the philosophy and the practices. Why you attend the program? That was your uh, next question. Uh, the simple answer that you learn the secrets of meditation and mindfulness, breathing and other tools to self-help manage your pain, stress and anxiety in day-to-day -day life. When you attend all these sessions, you discover the best. As taught by the traditional master 6,000 years ago, you educate your brain, you train your mind, you regulate your breath for inner peace, harmony and happiness. You start working with creativity in peace and with wisdom. You empower yourself and you know here is a way to manage, reduce anxiety, overcome fatigue at workplace and at home. And that helps you in the long run to optimize your state of well-being. Uh, it has got its own benefits uh, in case one suffers from ADD, ADHD, memory loss and lack of concentration, sleep disturbances. And you can join this program with the uh, family, including your kids. Understanding is very important. When we do not understand, when uh, someone gives you the practice without uh, principles and the philosophy is laid down uh, by the great masters in their teachings, then what happens? You go back home and you become the same person again. So many people come and say, oh, as long as I do the practice, I feel very good. The moment I leave the center, uh, it makes me the same person again with anxiety and because the practices are not supported by the principles of the Eastern wisdom. There is no principle of meditation in science. What the science does, science understand how this a particular meditation practices brings physiological, neurophysiological and the psychological changes in an individual and it is good and we should all complement science on one hand and guided meditation on the other hand to maximize the benefits so welcome 